If you want to know how to be successful in IT help desk, stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Techno Chatter. It's your boy HD. I appreciate everybody who's been tuning into the channel and sharing it and subscribing and leaving your comments and your feedback. I really do appreciate it. But hey, if it's your first time on the channel and you're interested in IT news, cybersecurity news, job tips, career training, you name it, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Moving along in this video, I'll be discussing pretty much some of the best tips that I took from my experience doing help desk and how you'll be successful doing help desk. But before we get into that, let's throw out another random question. So, this probably is more suited for the people who were born in the 90s or 90s and up. But hey, which video store did you go get your videos from? Did you go to Blockbuster or did you go to Hollywood Video? I personally used to go to Hollywood Video all the time. It's one of my favorite places to go as a kid, rent games, rent movies. My have times have changed. Uh, let me know in the comment section what your favorite video renting place was. Now, moving along. So I have around five or six tips for you guys if you're interested in doing help desk or if you're currently in help desk now, you may agree with everything I'm saying. Um, so let's get into it. One of the first things first is when you're doing help desk, you have to get familiar and very comfortable with talking and typing. And it's funny because some people aren't good at it and it's a developed trait but as you keep on doing it you'll get better at it get better at just typing and you don't kind of like when you're taking notes in class it's the same thing try to take all the important stuff down that way you can just focus in on that and don't try to focus on catching everything that they're trying to say so make sure you try to get good at that comfortable that if you want to practice at home or have somebody call you and you're just trying to type up what they said and read it back to them and say, you know, you did a good job. That's probably a way to help you to get better at doing that. Um, after that, you want to get very good at documentation. Documentation is key into what I just said about talking and typing. Documentation will take you far in any career. Literally, it will. You'll be surprised at how showing uh, a level of detail in any aspect will take you far. And documentation is definitely with that because you're going to have to document everything because who knows if it turns into like a small ticket or a big ticket with an outage, they're going to pin on and lean on what you put in there to solve the problem. And that's going to help you out. Somebody's going to notice. You may not think somebody's always watching, but somebody's always watching. So please make sure that you get good at documentation. This next one is a big one. Uh, depending on what type of help desk you work with, when you're uh, dealing with customers, sometimes you got to deal with people with real technical issues and also money issues. But learn how to de-escalate situations over the phone a lot of times you got to realize these people aren't necessarily mad at you they're mad at whatever is the reason that they called in and you got to figure out a way to get them to calm down so you guys can solve it and they'll be able to see that because they got to use certain things and just listen and use certain words like you know i'm sorry to hear that you know how may i help you or how can i serve you better so try to use language kind of like that or verbatim or verbiage like that to de-escalate the situation. Also, one of the biggest ones I should have said was used to working in a fast-paced environment. Man, uh, some help desk take, you know, I don't know, I haven't done help desk in years, but let's say you did, I know I did like an average of 30, 35 calls a day, and some places the uptick is even higher than that. That's very fast-paced. You're talking to, what, 35, 60 people a day? and stuff is ever changing you have all these things to remember on how to help them do xyz it's a lot to take in a lot of people are not successful at help this because they can't work like that in a fast-paced environment and think that's ever changing so try to get used to catching up and learning new things it's going to be constantly new things that management probably tries to throw at you guys so you guys can better serve the customer and one of my last ones is uh be resourceful and adaptable just like I just said about fast-paced environment and documentation and looking at notes and stuff like that, you have to be resourceful and adaptable and the help desk because everything that they call in for is not going to necessarily be documentation or a KB article on it. And that's when the troubleshooting skills come in. And trust me, they're going to help you out in this job and also in life. So. Try to use that to your advantage uh, to learn how to troubleshoot and figure out how to fix this problem. Take as much information down as they said. You have Google, that's your friend, use that. Lean on some of your 
tier two, tier three guys. Sometimes they haven't seen it. You know, sometimes you got to park the ticket and say, hey, um, I'm going to take this information down and I'll give you a call back in an hour. Is that fine? They say that, that, you know, and figure it out. And what's going to happen is once you figure out this new issue that nobody's ever seen, what your notes is and documentation, that's going to become a standard new process of KB for everybody. So that's going to give you, this is a bonus tip, major key alert. Major key alert. This is going to give you a, a ability on your resume to say, you know, developed new processes and documentation for service desk or, or whatever you work for. So never take what you do at work lightly. You can always basically make your resume and your work seem much more lively. So those are the soft skills that you're going to need to be successful in doing help desk. Now, when it comes to, it's not super technical, but if you want to bring up some skills that you may need to also further on what you're doing, I'm gonna tell you some things that you need to be familiar with before you do help desk. Depending on what type of help desk you're in, depends on how technical that you may need to be. But for the most part, if you're in a standard uh, help desk, kind of like what I was in, you'll have situations like, for example, uh, knowing how to do Microsoft Outlook or O365 now. Uh, simple things as far as users calling in and saying, hey, uh, my archive disappeared, or how do I archive something? Um, I can't, I have a full, my uh, storage for my mailbox shows that I have a lot of space, but I can't, you know, I'm having issues sending and receiving messages. Or, hey, uh, I'm not getting emails at all, so that might be an issue with somebody being connected to the wrong mail server, I mean, exchange server. So, things like that is stuff you need to research before you start getting into help desk because it'll definitely help you. You'll, you'll stick out if you know how to do that. Um, one of the next ones is uh, Azure Active Directory. Now, granted, now it's a different time now. You might have to deal with uh, IAM roles and I forgot what the stuff is they're using Google or like GCP, but it's a little different. But IAM, Azure, Active Directory. Get used to that and what type of roles and what you can do with those roles, what type of permissions, whether it's something small as finding someone's network drive or adding them, uh, putting the shared mailbox into their role or making them being able to have admin access. Look into stuff like that ahead of time if you want to interview for a help desk role and it should help you out. Um, command line tools, simple stuff, ping, tracer T, IP config, stuff like that. Um, some of those will solve most of your problems when somebody's calling in or something like, hey, I can't access this site or this or that. Go in and flush the cache and do X, Y, Z and you pretty much solve their issue. And the last one, but not least, is one of the biggest ones is ticketing. Uh, I use, I started off using Remedy. Now Snow, ServiceNow is like the more popular ticketing system. So look into Snow and Remedy and there are other ticketing systems out there. Try to find like a free one that you can practice on, work on documentation, assign tickets to groups you created. And that's gonna help your workflow when you start doing help desk. But hey, uh, I made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys took something from this video. If it's something I left out that you guys wish I would bring up or talk about more, hey, let me know in the comments. And uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, and check out some of the Techno Chatter playlist videos. It's your boy HD, 